Mercedes car for 2024 looks insane. So we're going to be going through that and three other stories in today's video. So make sure to like this video. And if you want more Mercedes news content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting that red button down below. The first story is Mercedes launches the W15 and show great signs of a dominant season ahead. The penultimate launch of the year saw Mercedes unveil the W15, the car they hope will see them back fighting for wins and championships. After a less competitive than hoped for start to the 2023 season, Mercedes made a quick decision to abandon the design route they had been going down and instead switch to a more conventional one, which did see them improve and take P2 in the Constructors' Championship. The team has continued to develop and hope that they have made more steps to see them back in a position that would allow them to fight more consistently at the front. We know we have a mountain to climb to fight at the very front. There are no miracles in this sport, Toto Wolf, team principal and CEO said, but our ambition and determination are strong. Since charting this new course, development has progressed well. We had several items on our priority list for this car. We will soon see if we've made the step we've aimed for. As the saying goes, when it stings, it sticks. I believe the previous two years were necessary for us to readjust, recalibrate, and reinvent ourselves in certain areas. That root and branch approach is never easy, but we've made progress and look forward to taking the next step with the W15. It won't be a linear path, but when we stumble, we will get back up and keep climbing. Over the past few years, Mercedes have raced in their signature silver or in black, but this time they've merged the two so that the front of the W15 is decked out in silver and it fades to black for the rest of the car. Many of the liveries for the 2024 season feature large arrays of black as paint adds weight, so leaving arrays of black carbon unpainted gives teams more wiggle room with the weight limits. Performance was always at the forefront of our minds with the black livery last year, Wolf explained. Weight is a crucial factor in this current generation of cars. We knew that once we were in position to do so, we would bring back the Mercedes Silver to accompany the black that has become a pillar of our team identity. The livery truly reflects who we are as a team with the distinctive colors of Ineos and Petronas providing important highlights. The team's technical director, James Allison, said that one of the main areas they focused on was the rear axle in order to give their drivers a more reassuring car. A big focus has been on improving the previous car's unpredictable rear axle, which the drivers often referred to as spiteful, said Allison. We have worked on that to try and create a car that is reassuring to the drivers. At the beginning of a corner when you're hard on the brakes and turning in, the rear needs to feel rock solid. And then as you get towards the apex, the car needs to feel progressively more nimble and eager to turn. We have been trying to build that into the car. We've also worked hard to create a less draggy car, Allison continued, and to add performance in the corners. There's also been some housekeeping on areas in which we had room for improvement, including the DRS effect and pit stop performance. We were always very good at delivering a pit stop in a repeatable time, which is the key thing for a pit stop. We feel like we have had a good winter, but F1 is a relative game and only time will tell how big a step we've made. We're focused on getting the most from the car we launch, but we are excited by the development race that will follow as the regulations are still young and opportunities abound. For a third and final year, Mercedes will have Lewis Hamilton and George Russell driving for them. After 12 years together, Hamilton will be leaving the team after the season to move to Ferrari, but for now, his focus is on giving it everything for Mercedes. If you're not comfortable with the car, you're not able to extract the maximum performance, Hamilton explained. A more stable, more predictable car will enable us to extract the potential from not only the car, but ourselves as drivers. I know what this team is capable of. I am incredibly grateful for the work of every single person in this team. Every time you're in the factory, you can see the sheer drive and determination of everyone. We are all mega motivated for the year ahead and will be giving it everything we've got on the journey ahead. Russell is also feeling excited about the new year and new car after a difficult few seasons. It's not been plain sailing, Russell said, but I truly believe the journey we've been on will make us stronger in the long run. The whole team has been working incredibly hard, and we hope to have made a step with the W15. We made progress with some of the nastier characteristics of the W14 throughout last year, but we still had a narrow operating window, and once we were outside of that, the car was difficult to drive. 
The second story is Mercedes Technical Chief James Allison excited to witness the progress of the W15. Mercedes Technical Director James Allison believes the time before preseason is like a Christmas period when it comes to the development of the car. Speaking in a team interview at the launch of the W15, the British Technical Chief felt that the initial few races including preseason tests will be a period full of anticipation and intrigue when it comes to the progress of the car. Allison reckons that several elements of the car, such as aerodynamics, will be worked on at this time of the year. He explained that most of the parts or improvements to be worked on for the European leg of the season would be developed now. The Mercedes technical head believes most of the unknowns that crop up in the initial few races will lead to a lot of experiments before they bring an improvised version of the W15 to the European races. Asked how this time of the year feels for him from a personal perspective, the Mercedes technical director said, it is a bit like waiting for Christmas. It is exciting. You want it to arrive, and you want the days to fly by. You also know that the Christmas Day opening of those presents might bring not bring you all the good fortune you wish for. It's not a relaxing time of year, but it is very exhilarating. I would not want it any other way and having not been in the technical director's seat for a couple of seasons, I'm beginning to remember the usual feelings of anticipation and trepidation. Most of the lap time you can put on a car comes from aerodynamics during a season, but precisely what we find and in what area is still unknown. The aerodynamic department is, at this stage of the year, planning to put a good amount of effort in to front wings, rear wings, floor, brake drums, brake ducts, bodywork, all of which could produce things that might arrive for the European season. Several of those programs will not come to fruition, but that is just the nature of experimentation. But if you try hard enough over a wide enough range of experiments, then enough of them will come good in that time scale, and there should be a decent package to put on the car by the time we return to Europe. Mercedes technical director James Allison claims the W15 is a brand new car addressing the weaknesses of its predecessor. He feels the design process of their 2024 F1 car will involve understanding the weaknesses of their car and making adjustments prior to the summer break. Allison states that most of the car's strengths and weaknesses will only be revealed once it is put to the test against its competitors. Asked about the design approach taken by the team for the W15, the Mercedes technical director spoke in a team interview saying, the design of any car is an iterative process and a long one at that. It stretches back to last year. A new car enables the team to make bigger alterations that are not possible during the year. These are decisions that are taken during the preceding summer but the main approach is unchanging from year to year, and that is to try to deal with the things that you've identified as weaknesses on your current car. Those weaknesses are revealed most starkly when the competition starts. But you get a reasonably good idea quite early in the year of what the Achilles heel might be of a car. From there, it is about balancing out working to improve those Achilles heels and building on what has worked well. You look to your available resources from varying departments and get them to focus their attentions on fixing the issues. Analyzing the design approach from the images released by Mercedes, it is evidently clear that they have steered away from their previous car's concept. The Silver Arrows team did some shakedown laps at the Silverstone circuit, and their test specification version will be the one that reveals more details in Bahrain. After finishing second in the championship, Mercedes are keen to have a better start to their 2024 campaign and return to winning ways. The third story is Hamilton is mega motivated as he prepares for final season with Mercedes. Lewis Hamilton has stated that he and his team are mega motivated for the 2024 F1 season in what will be his final campaign with Mercedes before his switch to Ferrari in 2025. The Briton was speaking as the Silver Arrows launched their new car, the W15, on Wednesday, with the covers pulled off their Challenger at Silverstone. Given the struggles faced with its predecessors, the W13 and W14 in 2022 and 2023, Mercedes have worked to dial out the inconsistencies of their previous Challengers, as well as addressing what they have labeled as a spiteful rear end. With his blockbuster move to the Scuderia on the horizon, Hamilton is hopeful that the challenges of recent years have helped Mercedes as they look to take the fight to their rivals in 2024. The learnings of the past two years have helped us find our direction, Hamilton commented. It's enabled us to find our North Star. It's still going to be a work in progress, but we will face whatever challenges present themselves with our heads up, with open minds, and work through diligently. 
In regards to the benefits that an improved W15 could bring, the seven-time world champion added, if you're not comfortable with the car, you're not able to extract the maximum performance. A more stable, more predictable car will enable us to extract the potential from not only the car, but ourselves as drivers. The work put in by staff at Mercedes headquarters in Brackley and Bricksworth has been praised by Hamilton, with the 39-year-old explaining that everybody in the team is feeling motivated ahead of the 2024 campaign getting underway. I know what this team is capable of, Hamilton added. I am incredibly grateful for the work of every single person in this team. Every time you're in the factory, you can see the sheer drive and determination of everyone. We are all mega motivated for the year ahead and we'll be giving it everything we've got on the journey ahead.